Hello there, this is Ahmed Gad. Welcome to VMware from E to Z. In this session, we'll learn how to put the VM in a quiet mode. Okay, so we already have a Windows 7 VM workstation, and this is the hardware specifications of it have memory for 1 giga and one processor with a hard drive 40 gigabytes and all extras like floppies and, and, and stuff like this now we will try to open this virtual machine but not on not on the operating system but to the pies so let's start go to the vm menu and go to the power and check power on to pies power on to pies the pies is the basic input output system which in some computer you can activate it uh, during the first restart after what we call it a cold restart and by F10, F12, F2, whatever uh, according to the kind of the machine or the type of the machine uh, is it Dell or HP or Toshiba whatever okay so power on to pies right now Virtual device floppy. It's okay. This this uh, this because there is no floppy in the machine. The, in the gas machine. In, uh, sorry, in the the house machine itself, I have no floppy. So we say yes. Do you want to try to connect this version? Uh, no, we don't need to connect again because I know that I will not have a floppy disk. And this is normal. So now we have the pies. I think you you. you you, you you understand what I was talking about uh, before that suppliers give you some advantage uh, of changing um, some parameters in the machine behavior so the date for example and the time and you can change it you can use the arrow keys right now we can make the, the time for example change the time and we can sorry we can go and change the date okay um, we can now disable the floppy in order not to bother us it will not bother us because we already disabled from the uh, virtual machine software itself but uh, in just for an example what we can do with the pipes um, the primary and the, uh, the primary master, the primary slave, the secondary master and the secondary slave. Actually, we have one hard disk, the one that we showed to you before, that's a 40 gigas, and it's connected to a secondary uh, master. Actually, this is port in your machine. If you have a physical machine, you may find cables uh, before the ID cables and also the SATA cables so this is the configuration in, in which uh, port of the SATA or the IDE you have uh, your hard disk, the physical hard disk don't forget that we are talking about the virtual okay so this is for that reason we have a secondary master hard disk in the VMware uh, virtual ID which is the 40 gigas that you see it before um, you, we we want to, to 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 check. This is for example your homework. Check if what if you change your memory. Okay, I have one giga memory. Before I show you that I have one giga memory. So what 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 if I did change the memory to two gigas or whatever? actually you will find this option the system memory and the extended memory will be changed uh, system memory will not be changed but actually the extended memory will be changed uh, because this is actually report the uh, memory that's occupied with the vm itself so this is the main uh, if you did any changes here you will find the um, uh, in this guide the small the, the the two row below uh, F10 to save and exit okay and if you make any changes you don't you like you don't like it you can press 
uh, app 9 to go back to the setup defaults uh, a very nice help this these two lines uh, in the bottom is a very nice help for you in how to deal with the uh, pious basic input output systems so again go to the advanced to check what 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 else you have multi processor specification 1.4 and actually uh, you, need, you would not have any kind of changes right now uh, what I need to s tell you is, is that this area um, actually uh, affected by what hardware you change uh, if you have this virtual machine copy this virtual machine and go and run it in a different host machine you may find some different in this uh, information uh, now um, sometime you need to uh, plus and minus to change the values as, as I got from the down this is two rows uh, down sirs, uh, and also enter to get inside a sub menu like the cache memory uh, this is a sub menu uh, we w we don't we don't have enough room to 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 discuss this uh, hardware issues, but just just to know that this is something called a pyres and you can change inside it. So we we don't have enough room to discuss all the points, whatever. Uh, this also point uh, important point if you have a serial port or in this machine, if you have a serial port, so you can work with um, something like configuring switches. Uh, configuring any device that uh, supported by serial so the virtual machine will extract the serial 9 port from your uh, computer the physical computer the host computer will extract it and add it to itself inside the VM so you can make a VM for example for the um, the switches the con to configure our switches in any place on the, if you have a wide area network and you have switches uh, uh, anywhere so you can go and make uh, a VM for configuring a certain type of switches and add a software for it and another VM to configure another type of switches in order not to bother your main machine with a lot of software stuff like this so you can from here disable the serial port or enable by the way in order to be honest serial ports is not is an old technologies but actually still we have devices to be uh, controlled or configured by serial so we use something what we call it uh, a serial to USB converter or maybe it's a USB to serial converter whatever but actually uh, at last it's just a, a small device that from a one pass uh, one end is a USB port and another end is a serial port and then make a driver for serial port inside your computer it's actually if you check for a 9 pin or 25 pin uh, dual type d in your uh, notebook you will find nothing it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's something obsolete okay so but we have converters to work with it in order to configure some devices which use actually serial ports so this is the serial port or a parallel port I, I, yani I think is that a lot of people don't know what's a parallel port and what is the centronic cables and stuff like that it's something used for the uh, printing but actually now all the printers are USB USB now yani get rid of all uh, old uh, communication uh, ports so this is what we call the parallel port and stuff like this we can also I can uh, remove or disable the the properties controller right now in order to not bother me anything I, I did I can do F10 to save um, now I uh, I want to go back okay in the security I, I'm not quite sure but uh, actually this is a very important point I'm not quite sure that somebody may use your VM make a VM no administrative password but VM this VM is controlling for example all our Cisco switches 
we use it to control the Cisco switches in our company so what we can do right now we can enter a password for the virus so this VM will not open except when you type the password as regular computer and regular machines we do it in all our machines we have a password on the virus for this is a good advantage for uh, configuring the uh, the 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 um, uh, the virus okay uh, by the way uh, a lot of hardware got a lot of version of virus this is phonix uh, i think I, I can't remember uh, other but there is a lot of um, chips or firmwares uh, bias for a lot of machines so this is one of uh, what we use it right now is the phonics bias okay you may find uh, a lot of uh, uh, different um, type of bias but most of them are sure uh, got uh, common uh, points so this is to add the password you can add the password for your machine uh, to uh, increase the protection also the, if you have a password to the the, uh, the windows password also this is a good point and you 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 have a password for the voice and a password for the windows but by the way if you have a password for the windows there is a lot of tools that they can extract this password or reset this password but i i'm not sure is there's a tool to uh, destroy or uh, or disable the Phonix Pi setup utility. I, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. So it's 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 extra protection for your VMware. It's extra protection. I, I will not g give you a uh, uh, six or seven minutes, uh, and uh, we don't have any any benefits from this virus. So it's something good you have uh, to note. So go back um, okay and go forward to the port uh, this is a port order yeah they actually we use blah 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 keys in order to get to the cd-rom to boot so you can uh, arrange now the port order and the priority so we can say removable no, i don't have removable drive i don't have cd-rom i don't know, for example so let's let's go up let's go up where is the plus okay okay so the hard disk and also i like to have the cd rom uh, next why not mix the cd rom first okay so cd rom then the hard drive if you have a network boot you can do this is ordering the boot order for the machine uh, right now uh, in the exit utility you can exit and save saving um, all the chains and as we thought uh, i tell you before f10 will work good f10 will work good and also you can exit and discard all the changes that we do it before a <laughs> load setup default uh, i make uh, i destroy my ev pious and i don't know how to return back i forget all the 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 values so we, you can load the setup default again and nothing happened we start from scratch again no, nothing happened or any, no changes to the bias uh, we can discuss the changes and we can't uh, save the changes the last option you can use it in order you will go again and check something and uh, in our case we will save and exit and we i prefer to press f10 uh, again i think it's searching now for the cd-rom and then it go and put from the hard disk that's all about the bias again if a quick summary we use vm menu and go to the power and go to power on bias and this now is disabled or dimmed 
in gray because actually the machine is uh, on the virtual machine is starting and on so the virtual machine must be co completely stopped to power on the device uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, try to catch all the series the VMware from A to Z series uh, on the YouTube it's regularly and maybe not every day maybe every hour you will have a new uh, lecture or a new tutorial uh, so try to check it uh, try to subscribe in order to have uh, announcement about the new videos thank you and see you in another video.